Oh god damn it. Alright, this is Bug. And today we're talking about jeans. But not your everyday jeans, no. Not on this channel. This isn't a fashion channel, I'm not some influencer. No, today we're going to be talking about the Climb 52 straight cut jeans that I uh, just received. Now, these jeans are not cheap. You can look it up. They're, uh, how do you say, expensive? But the difference between these jeans and normal, everyday, off-the-shelf fashion jeans, these ones are going to save you in a crash, or at least they're going to save you so the cost and pain of some skin drafts. Maybe a broken knee? I don't know. These are motorcycle-specific jeans with padding in the knees, in the hips, and in the tailbone. Except for mine. But I'll tell you about that later. These jeans are rated for safety from something. I'll put it up on the screen up here or something like up there. I don't know. Um, they get some sort of CE double, triple way baseball rating or something. I don't know. I, all I know is that they are safety rated and that's a good thing. I, I don't think I would be buying motorcycle riding jeans without a safety rating. Nor would I buy a helmet without a safety rating. Unless I was buying a baseball helmet. But that's, again, just a whole different story. I mean, it's, I don't know. The hell was I saying? I ordered these jeans a few days ago on Amazon, and they came yesterday. Now, in the Amazon listing, it was listed that it's a merchant and the shipper were both Klein, and that these were Prime, so I could return them and all that jazz. Blah, blah, blah. I had no intention of returning them because I really, again, don't want skin grafts. So, and I want to look good, and these jeans look good, but they don't. I mean, they're just jeans, whatever. The point is, I took these out of the box yesterday, I hung them up, and I looked at them and I said, hey, that's some quality shit right there. They're heavy, which is good for something that's going to protect your body. The padding looks pretty decent. All of the stitching looks good. Everything looks pretty good. The tags looked a little ruffled. Like, maybe it was returned and resold. I don't know. I'm just saying the tags looked a little ruffled. Uh, whatever. So anyway, I hung them up, kept looking at them, took some pictures. Then today, to prepare for this video, I decided to just try them on real quick take a couple of more pictures, whatever, and get to it. But then that's when I noticed this pair of riding jeans did not have its tailbone padding included. It wasn't there. I'll show you the picture. So that's kind of a bummer, huh? But I said, hey, I'll just call the company and say, listen, I, I got these pants. They're looking pretty cool, but it they're missing a part. You want to send that out to me? The phone response I got when I called on the telephone was, well, you bought them from Amazon. You're going to have to return them to Amazon and deal with Amazon. I don't want to deal with Amazon. I really don't. I barely like buying shit from Amazon. But I had a gift card, so I get an idea. I say, let's, let's jump on the old computer and see if we can get customer service on a live chat and see if I can get a different answer. So I went to the website, got on the live chat. The answer this time was, file a warranty claim. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. File a warranty claim, do a photo analysis? What? A photo overview? I don't know. They wanted photos. They. And a description of what the problem was. And I'm, I'm like, listen, I, I, the problem is I ordered these things and they don't have a tail pad. Can you just send me a tail pad? And the answer I got was no. No, no. There's a process. There's a process for everything. And I had to go through their warranty claims, fill out the thing, take pictures, explain what the problem is. The problem is there's no tailbone pad. I mean, it's not hard. It's not, it's not, it's not crotch rocket science here. I'm all like, hey, I, I don't want to have to jump through hoops to get uh, this simple little piece of plastic that really shouldn't cost more than fucking 45 cents to produce. Can you just send me one? No, they can't. Now, I will be the first to admit, I gave these people a lot of shit. And I don't normally do that. I really do feel like a company like Climb might want to accommodate a first-time customer like myself with such a simple request. Considering it wasn't my fault, I didn't steal the pad, I didn't... I don't know. What is this, some sort of pad scam? It's not a pad scam. Yeah, I just didn't get a pad. We're about to go over the St. John's Bridge. This is the coolest bridge ever. I love this bridge. Sometimes I just drive out here and go over this bridge for absolutely zero reason, which I guess I'm kind of doing right now. But check that out. Hmm? 
There's a ship over there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a city over there. I'm going to crash. Okay, let's not crash. Although, that would be a good test of these pants. Because, honestly, I'm not going to crash the Vespa today just to, to review some pants. I just, you know, if it ever happens, then I'll review what happened to the pants. For now, I'm just going to say, these things are probably going to be fine in a, in a crash. I'll tell you a little bit about how they how they feel and all that stuff in a minute. Was my blinker on the whole time? I really, i got to stop doing that. I'm going to go down and turn around because I want to hit this bridge again. I'm going to go find some place to talk. Talk smack. I don't know. Probably not. Off we go. What is this thing with the headlight going two miles an hour? Ah, it's a bicycle. What's up, bro? Let's just head this way towards downtown Portland. Get up some speed here. What are we going? We're going 60 Vespa miles, which is approximately 47 miles per hour. I don't know if you know this. Here's a little aside. Hey, sorry, I missed you. Here's a little aside. Is uh, The Vespa speedometer is off by about 9%. Actually, 9% doesn't sound right because right now I'm going about, let's see, let's go to, let's get up to 55. 55. GPS says I'm going 50. Okay, all right, 49. Yeah, I guess that, I guess that, that squares. Oh, speed limit's 45. I should probably chill the fuck out a little bit. All right. What the hell was I saying? Right. I am wearing these jeans on the bike right now. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but they're incredibly long. So I ordered a size 34. Uh, I didn't get a choice of length. I assume that they're all the same length or something. And I just got the normal 34s. I'm not short. I'm not tall. 5'10". God damn it. Anyway, the tag on these jeans when I got them said 34 by 33. So it has a 33 inch inseam. I have a 30 inch inseam. It's not compatible, is what I'm saying. Like, it's... They're very long. And you can see how goofy they look when I just walk around. Now that's fine. You know, in, in actuality, the reason they don't look extra long when I show you by looking down like this is because once you're sitting, you know, they ride up and they actually cover your ankles. So I'm not too horrified by the fact that they're too long. Uh, I might leave them, I might hem them. I don't know. The hip pads, you don't feel the hip pads at all. They're they're like they're not there. I I, I think they're there. I mean, yeah, I did get those. Thanks, thanks, Quine. So those are a non-issue. They're nice to have. They don't seem to affect the look. They don't affect the feel, the fit. The knee pads. Um, how do I say? They're strange. They're a little weird. Each one sits in a big pocket, a mesh pocket, and they're attached to the pant with Velcro, right? So you can sort of adjust them up and down. You can sort of adjust them left and right inside to accommodate your specific knee. Did you get your specific, your specific knees? Your specific knees? Yeah, whatever. You can adjust them is what I'm saying. Um... When I first put these jeans on, the pads were almost below my knee. Like, useless. So, I adjusted them up. And they still didn't seem like they were high enough, but I don't know. And they were also, like, dink-toed. They were pointed in, so I pointed them out. And I said, okay, this feels better. It doesn't feel awesome, but it feels better. Now that I'm sitting, I can I can sort of tell that the, the knee pad is sitting on the knee where it should be. So, I think we're good there. You know, if I crash, am I am I going to be straight-legged like this, or am I going to be like this? Or am I going to be like this? I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens. Dude, where am I going? I got to turn around or else I'm going to end up on the freeway, and that's not going to be awesome. Let's get back to the jeans. So the the knees, you know, it, it comes up to here, it goes down to here. They're, they're knees, they're knee pads. Um, They seem pretty... I don't know. They seem pretty... Like they would maybe help your knee in a crash. I mean, that's the whole point of them. Oh, let me tell you about the tailbone pad again. Uh, no, I can't because I don't have one. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but all in all, I gave in and I said, okay, let's just do a warranty claim. They did it for me online. I have no idea where I am. I have no idea where I am right now. Um, they did it online for me, so I didn't have to go and fill it out myself. I sent them the pictures. And they say that it might take up to five days to get a response from the warranty department. I'm like, five five days to to what? To to uh, to figure out if I'm lying or I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Where am I? 
outside of the padding, the selling point of these pants is they're, they've got Kevlar lining on the butt and on the knees and a couple other places, I think. The fabric itself isn't like denim. It's it's like cloth woven in with magic. It's 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 cloth magic. Aside from the length being way too long, although I think it's going to be fine, they fit basically like um, a pair of Wranglers. They fit just fine. They're a little on the high side for me, waist-wise. But again, you know, in a crash, you're probably not going to mind having a little bit of extra protection around your belly and above your butt, you know? Let's take a ride down 23rd. Oh, shit. Oh, I really don't want to get on 405. Oh, I really don't want to get on 405. Am I about to get on 405? Oh, I fucking don't want to get on 405. Not this time of night. Not in this city. Not not in this life. Uh. Ooh, lampshade. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh my god, am I about to get on 405? You know how many times I've screwed up and done this shit? Oh, balls. Well, well I'm about to get on 405, so we're about to crash test these pants. Oh, I really hate this. This isn't even 405 per se. This is like the, this is the 405 bridge. This is the Fremont Bridge in Portland going north, heading towards Seattle. On a good day, this sucks. Oh Jesus. Okay, so I'm in the third lane. Oh God damn it! I need to get over. This guy's not gonna let me. I need to get over two lanes to the right. Really, dude? You're not gonna let me over? Yeah, you're gonna let me over. What path do we go? Oh, 47. I mean, it's not like. It's not like people go a million... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh an asshole in a BMW. Huh. Oh, dear God. All right. Well, I didn't get a chance to crash test these pants. But my main point is they feel pretty good. Actually, they feel great. They're heavy, but they're supposed to be heavy. They're hot a little bit, but... Yeah, they're hot, baby. I mean, they're a little warm is what I'm saying. Would I buy them again? You know, to be honest... I gave customer service more shit than they deserved. So I'm not gonna say I wouldn't buy them because of poor customer service. I, I'm, all I'm saying about the customer service is, dude, it's like a 25 cent piece of plastic. Just send it out. Don't make me jump through hoops. I really like the pants. So yeah, I probably would buy them again. God, they're expensive though. I'd probably spend a little bit more time looking for alternatives. I did, I did a bunch of research and people seem to think that these are some of the best and most protective riding jeans you can get. So I didn't mind spending the $35,000 on a pair of jeans. You know, it's gonna save me in skin grafts and all that stuff. Save my butt. I'd like them to be like 50 or or $100 cheaper. I think 50 would be reasonable. I think 100 actually would be... Would, is this guy gonna stop? I don't know. I didn't. Let's just say $75 cheaper and I'd be a real happy camper. At the very least, if you're gonna sell a pair of jeans for $26,900, I got them on sale. You know, maybe include all the padding. I don't ask much. Double check them, maybe? Like, how does something go out the door like that? I got voicemail. Oh man, I left my blinker on again. This is uh, North Mississippi Ave. It's one of our cool, hip areas where people like to go and drive in the middle of the road. What? Oh, hi, okay. Oh, hey, hey, hold on. Yep, yep, you saw me. You go, though. You go ahead. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You got shit to do. I'm just fucking riding here. Wait. I'm just riding here doing nothing. I can stop. Short. Dude, who voicemailed me? I don't like it when I have voicemail. Like, no one calls me. The only time anyone ever calls me was when someone's dead. So, I really don't want to answer this voicemail. Anyway, this looks like an appropriate point to say goodbye. There's the honey bucket. Uh, this is Bug. Hope you enjoyed my pants review, which really wasn't much of a pants review, if I'm being honest. But, you know, we do what we can. You know, till next time, when I talk about, I don't know, shirts? Oh, I'll tell you about my new jacket. This one, by Alpine Stars. I really like Alpine Stars. This ride was on my bucket list. Yeah, bucket. Hi there. Alright, this is Bug Out for real this time. Alright, I had to stop and check that voicemail. Just I know you're all worried. Everything's fine. It's just my dog died.